Well, good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. In a pretty remarkable White House press briefing this afternoon, unexpected as well, White House Chief of Staff John Kelly weighed in on President Trump's call to the mother of a slain U.S. soldier. He also spoke about the death of his own son in Afghanistan seven years ago. Kelly went on to sharply criticize Florida Congresswoman Frederica Wilson. He called her recent attacks on the president stunning and shameful. Kelly pointed out this is not the first time the congresswoman has used the death of others to burnish her own profile. Watch. I was stunned when I came to work yesterday morning and brokenhearted at what I saw a member of Congress doing. A member of Congress who listened in on a phone call from the President of the United States to a young wife. It stuns me that a member of Congress would have listened in on that conversation. Absolutely stuns me. And I thought at least that was sacred. In October, uh, April, rather, of 2015, I was still on active duty, and I went to the dedication of the new FBI field office in Miami. And it was dedicated to two men who were killed in a firefight in Miami with, against drug traffickers in 1986. A guy by the name of Grogan and uh, Duke. Uh, Grogan almost retired, 53 years old. Duke, I think less than a year on the job. Anyways, they got in a gunfight and they were killed. Three other uh, FBI agents were there, were wounded, now retired. And a congresswoman uh, stood up and in the long tradition of empty barrels making the most noise, stood up there and all of that and talked about how she was instrumental in getting the funding for that building and how she took care of her constituents because she got the money and she just called up President Obama and on that phone call he gave the money, the $20 million to build a building. And she sat down and we were stunned, stunned that she'd done it. Even for someone that is that empty a barrel, we were stunned. But you know, none of us went to the press and criticized. Uh, none of us stood up and were appalled. We just said, okay, fine. So I still hope, as you write your stories, and I appeal to America, that let's not let this maybe last thing that's held sacred in our, in our society, a young man, young woman going out and giving his or her life for our country. Let's, let's try to somehow keep that, keep that sacred. But it eroded a great deal um, yesterday by the uh, selfish behavior of a member of Congress. General Kelly spoke for about 18 minutes. His words were both poignant and tough. At times, his voice sounded like an echo from an earlier, better age, a time when there were still parts of American life untouched by partisan hatred. When I was a kid growing up, a lot of things were sacred in our country, the general said. Women were sacred and looked upon with great honor. The same was true, Kelly noted, for religion, the armed services, and the dignity of life itself. But, as he noted, that's gone. As if to prove it, the left immediately attacked General Kelly and his sentiments. CNN contributor Brian Fallon tweeted this, Kelly isn't just an enabler of Trump, he's a believer in him. That makes him as odious as the rest. Don't be distracted by the uniform odious. In the New York Times, Charles Blow, who's an opinion columnist, added, I keep telling y'all about John Kelly. He signed up to make Trump's craziness look less crazy. That make Kelly himself very dangerous. Congresswoman Wilson of Florida, of course, agrees with all of this. John Kelly's trying to keep his job, she told Politico. He will say anything.